Welcome family again uh, to Ghana. Uh, on behalf of Africa for the Africans, Opportunities in Africa, we'd like to welcome you officially to Ghana, your homeland. So give yourself a round of applause for just being here and the to come home. You are no stranger. Huh? You have come home. And you have come home to your people. You have come home where you are loved and no one discriminates against you because of who you are, your beautiful color. You come home where love it's an abundance. So again, we're thankful. We, we appreciate all the good work that our brother Bumani is doing. And as always, we like to start off by giving praises to the Creator for our safe arrival. We'd like for our great doctor, sorry to open us up officially. Uh, we humbly start up. Give praise and thanks to the great Creator and all our good and beloved ancestors that have been able to help us all through this journey until now and give us a great son by the Honorable Woman to bring us the idea of coming back home in practical terms. So thank God and all our ancestors that we are on course and for the first time in the history of Africa, we have a year of return and our people are being granted permission to come back and be who they have always loved to be, citizens of the great African country, starting from Ghana, the Black Star, and continuing for the rest of the continent. We thank God that this has come to pass and we embrace it. Thank you, Ashe. All right, great Dr. Sarge, you can have a seat. Let's give him a round of applause. Dr. Sarge is a great brother, great doctor. I always say you cannot be sick when Dr. Sarge is around. He's the author of the book, Chosen to Heal. And he's truly chosen as one of the great healers of Africa. My name again is Dabi Jawara. I was blessed to leave America in 1986 with my three-year-old daughter. And I was determined to make a success of my life after America. And by the blessing of the Most High and the wisdom of the ancestors and my great friends and leaders, I've been blessed to be successful in Africa. Successful meaning that I'm still alive and they haven't been able to eliminate me. <laughs> you know, and I'm still standing strong and healthy. They placed bets in Las Vegas that um, some of us could not make it once we left. And I was one of those that they betted on that could not make it. And you know they lost their bet. They lost their bet. And not only have I gone from what I call rag to riches, but I've been able to assist my brothers and sisters like yourself. What I've done in terms of owning properties, houses, farmland, 50 acres, we grow in organic food. I wake up in a food forest, and I don't hear noise of civilization that I call killing logic. So I want to share that with you on how I became successful by leaving a place where they said we can't make it without them. I'm a living proof that we can live without Donald Trump. Wow. Without all those people that <laughs> pretend that they are friends and they pretend they love us. So I like to call up a brother that I met 12 years ago plus, and we've been working together in unity to do this conference and to continue to open doors. So I'd like for Brother Bumani to come with a round of applause to say a few words because he's a great brother and he's doing the work that Honorable Marcus Garvey, Brother Leon Sullivan has started and he's continuing it. And a lot of so-called leaders, so-called leaders never bring people to Africa the way he brings people to Africa. 